First, congratulations to Joaquin Miller repeating as national champion for the middle schools. And for the first time since 2012, they're back as champions, the Ben Choi, I mean the Lexington High School team. Ben Choi is indeed the science boy. Before we give out those final awards, we're honored to have the Deputy Assistant to the President and Deputy U.S. Chief Technology Officer Michael Kratzios with us today. And I'd like to invite back to the stage Dr. Steve Binkley to introduce Mr. Kratzios. Steve. Okay. Well, hello again. Um, let's see. The, wanted to, just to say a little bit about what uh, Mr. Kratzios does in the White House. Uh, in addition to those very impressive titles, um, he advises the White House on a broad range of technology and policy strategy priorities, including how technological innovation can help grow the economy, how government can make data move more accessible, make, make data more accessible to spur innovation and entrepreneurship and also how, to, how STEM education can be improved and expanded across the U.S. Uh, his office is also responsible for encouraging a, a adoption of innovative technologies to support the administration's priorities in areas such as job creation, improved health care, developing a more open government, and also protecting national security. Prior to joining the White House, uh, Michael invested in and advised technology startups in Silicon Valley. Uh, Michael also graduated magna cum laude from Princeton University and also was also ser served as a visiting scholar at Beijing's Tsinghua University. And so please join me right now in welcoming Michael Kratzios. To Thank you, Dr. Binkley, for the uh, warm introduction. Uh, thank you to all the people who have made this year's National Science Bowl possible. Uh, Jan Tyler, uh, Dr. Glauna, everyone at the Department of Energy who have worked to organize this, and the invaluable volunteers across the country who have made this entire competition a success. Thank you so much. It truly is an honor to be here, surrounded by hundreds of the brightest scientific minds of the next generation. You should each be incredibly proud of the time, the energy, and the sheer discipline you have dedicated to this competition. We are delighted you made the journey to our nation's capital to celebrate the future of American science and technology with us. Since 1991, the National Science Bowl has gathered some of the highest achieving science and math students in the country. This year, more than 14,000 students participated in the competition, representing almost 3,000 teams from every U.S. state, Puerto Rico, and Washington, D.C. And now, after three grueling months filled with 63 regional competitions at the high school level and 48 at the middle school level, I'm very excited to be addressing all of our finalists here today. First, to this year's National Science Bowl champions, Joaquin Miller High School and Lexington High School, congratulations to your tremendous victories. You should be... <laughs> you should all be very, very proud of the hard work that went into preparing for today. Congratulations also to the hundreds of finalists who have joined us in DC these past few days. You have represented your regions impressively in this competition. To the parents, to the coaches, the mentors, and friends here, you deserve a very, very special thank you. The support you provide day after day and night after night through endless hours of studying and practice 
is critical to the success of all the participants here today. You've been vital to encouraging these students. You not only taught them the foundations of everything they've displayed throughout the Science Bowl, but you fostered inside and out of the classroom a natural questioning and curiosity that will serve these amazing young minds well into the future. I think everybody here today recognizes that this weekend is a testament to your guidance and support. Thank you for the role you've played in mentoring these students, and thank you for setting an excellent example of what it means to make a difference in all of our communities. More than anything, I want to congratulate the 14,000 participants this year who now join the ranks of over a quarter million students who've competed in the National Science Bowl since it was founded 27 years ago. We're most excited because this event has the potential to ripple far beyond just the competition. In demonstrating your hunger for and understanding of scientific knowledge, you've taken the first steps to be able to apply those principles to the future. Every great discovery, every new technology that you can't imagine living without came from someone who wanted to push beyond the boundaries of what we know. And you are well positioned to carry that torch, becoming tomorrow's builders, engineers, technologists, and designers who will vastly improve life as we know it. Use what you know and what you learn to create new ways to make life better and easier. Use them to find new approaches to research in medicine, in space, in materials, and in computer science. Use them to design tools that will reshape the way we as humans build. Use them to create entire new technologies and industries that the world has not yet imagined and build the next great companies that we won't be able to live without. Simply by being here, you've proved that you know how to access the tools to help our great nation and revolutionize the future of science and technology. And you have an immense network of friends, family, and mentors who will support you along the way and encourage you in all of your endeavors. They've proven that by being with you every step of the way. Know also that this administration wants to do everything in our power to lay the foundation for you to be able to go out into the world and to succeed. Know that we have a president committed to helping you achieve great things in science and technology. As President Trump said in his joint address to Congress in February, imagine the wonders our country could know in America's 250th year. Think of the marvels we can achieve if we simply set the free the dreams of our people. Cures to the illnesses that have always plagued us are not too much to hope. American footprints on distant worlds are not too big a dream. He was talking about you, your dreams, and your future. As you continue in your education, continue your passion for science, and feed your curiosity for what's new. Continue developing your skills and your knowledge beyond the classroom so you can be learning throughout the rest of your lives. As science and technology moves forward, it will be vital that you stay current in order to continue pushing those boundaries of what's possible. The addition of a cyber science competition to the middle school level this year is a perfect example of the ways that new forms of science can emerge and adapt and enrich our base of knowledge. And as you eventually move into your careers, we want you to operate in an economic environment that encourages innovation and a social culture that helps you excel. We want you to be surrounded by people and policies that are open to new ideas that reward bold thinking. Our country needs more scientists, more technologists, more engineers, and more mathematicians. It's the only way we'll continue to be at the forefront of creating the future. You, 
The students in this room today have worked very hard to get here, and everybody in this room wants you to succeed. Everybody here wants to do whatever we can to make sure you can take your knowledge, your work ethic, and your passion, and go out into the world and make a difference. I'll leave with one last thanks. To all the participants this year, thank you for being an inspiration. I look forward to seeing what amazing discoveries are made and what life-changing technologies are created by the people sitting in this very room today. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you very much, Mr. Kratzios, and he is going to be staying up here on the stage to congratulate our winners, and uh, we see them lined up over there ready to come up. You know, the middle schools, we said we started with 48, and the final three are going to be recognized here today, but the 16 middle schools that advanced to double elimination yesterday, excuse me, on Saturday, will be receiving $1,000 for their school science departments, and the top three teams are going to receive a trophy, individual medals, and certificates. Join me in congratulating the third place team here for their third year from Missouri City, Texas, the Quail Valley Middle School. Come on up. Watch yourself. Congratulations. Yes, indeed. The photographers want it just right, yes. Well done, guys. Congratulations. A trophy, medals, certificates, and $1,000. Next, coming to the stage, and what a game they played today. It was a nail-biter from beginning to end. Here for only their second year, what an impression they have made. The team from Bellevue, Washington, Odell Middle School. Odell, come on up. You got a lot of fans out there. Terrific job under a lot of pressure. That's it. Well done, guys. Well done. And now joining us, it's a familiar walk because they made it last year too. In just three years, what a legacy they have built already. Our winner from Joaquin Miller Middle School from San Jose, California. Here they are, winners of the Middle School Science Bowl 2017. <laughs> remarkable poise, remarkable teamwork. Nothing flustered you guys at all. Excellent playing. Very good. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you, sir. Yes, indeed. Great job. Terrific. Thank you very much. Great job, guys. You get to hold the trophy. Yes, sir. Congratulations. 
All right, now our top three high school teams. We've been watching them all weekend long. We watched them here this morning. The top 16 high school teams are receiving $1,000 for their school science departments, and the top three teams receive a trophy, individual medals, and certificates. Third place, our congratulations to the team from San Ramon, San Ramon California, Doherty Valley High School. Doherty Valley. Congratulations, Doherty Valley. Other side, please. Thank you. Now coming to the stage, we just watched them. As always, exceptional playing. A team that has won this championship four times in consecutive years. And this team did that reputation proud. The team from Thomas Jefferson Science and Technology School, our second place winner today. And in addition to the money and the trophy and the medals and the certificates, you all are going on a five-day five science trip to Alaska this summer. Congratulations, our hometown favorites from nearby Alexandria. And now we just watched them. I had a great time watching them. They had a good time. They were laughing. They were having, a, but their concentration never wavered. Here they are, first time since 2012 in the winner's circle, Lexington High School from Lexington, Massachusetts. And we're going to keep them up while we bring up the Yes. In addition to the money and the trophy and the medals and the certificates, I sound like Oprah Winfrey. No, there's not a car underneath your seat. You are all going on a 10-day science trip to Alaska. Yes, indeed. Let me tell you what you'll do. You'll be exploring the Copper River Delta, known for its runs of wild salmon. You'll be experiencing the mystical appeal of old growth hemlock and spruce while hiking through the Chugach National Forest. You're going to go whitewater rafting on the Sheridan River. And you're going to travel across the scenic Prince William Sound and Orca Inlet, home of the world's largest population of sea otters. We all want to carry your bags and go along with you. What a great trip and what a great championship team here. Give them a hand. And could we have the team from Joaquin Miller Middle School please come back up so we get a joint photo with both the middle and high school winners. <laughs> Where is he? All right. Stay where you are so we can get Mr. Kratzios in that picture in the center. Thank you, guys.
Congratulations, everybody. That's it. I hope you've had a memorable time here in Washington and a, a few words from the lady of the hour here, the Department of Energy's Office of Science just thanks all of the students and coaches, especially the coaches and the families, many of whom are here today for all, the, all you did to make this possible. Also thank all the participants, all of the alumni, all the volunteers. The volunteers really make this work as well. The officer Michael Kratzios with us today. And I'd like to invite back to the stage Dr. Steve Binkley to introduce Mr. Kratzios. Steve. Okay. Well, hello again. Um, let's see. I wanted to just to say a little bit about what uh, Mr. Kratzios does in the White House, uh, in addition to those very impressive titles. Um, he advises the White House on a broad range of technology and policy strategy priorities, including how technological innovation can help grow the economy, how government can make data move more accessible, make, make data more accessible to spur innovation and entrepreneurship, and also how, to, how STEM education can be improved and expanded across the U.S. Uh, his office is also responsible for encouraging a adoption of innovative technologies to support the administration's priorities in areas such as job creation, improved health care, developing a more open government, and also protecting national security. Prior to joining the White House, uh, Michael invested in and advised technology startups in Silicon Valley. Uh, Michael also graduated magna cum laude from Princeton University and was also ser served as a visiting scholar at Beijing's Tsinghua University. And so please join me right now in welcoming Michael Kratzios. To it truly is an honor to be here, surrounded by hundreds of the brightest scientific minds of the next generation. You should each be incredibly proud of the time, the energy, and the sheer discipline you have dedicated to this competition. We are delighted you made the journey to our nation's capital to celebrate the future of American science and technology with us. Since 1991, the National Science Bowl has gathered some of the highest achieving science and math students in the country. This year, more than 14,000 students participated in the competition, representing almost 3,000 teams from every U.S. state, Puerto Rico, First, congratulations to Joaquin Miller, repeating as national champion for the middle schools. And for the first time since 2012, they're back as champions, the Ben Choi, I mean the Lexington High School team. Ben Choi is indeed the science boy. Before we give out those final awards, we're honored to have the Deputy Assistant to the President and Deputy U.S. Chief Technology. Thank you, Dr. Binkley, for the uh, warm introduction. Uh, thank you to all the people who have made this year's National Science Bowl possible. Uh, Jan Tyler, uh, Dr. Glauna, everyone at the Department of Energy who have worked to organize this, and the invaluable volunteers across the country who have made this entire competition a success. Thank you so much.